All right, hello everybody. Welcome to Spinalpedia's Disability Employment Success Stories. My name is Tiffany Carlson, I, and I'm the Executive Director of Spinalpedia.com. Today we are joined by Brian Denny. He's from Columbia, South Carolina. We are excited to share Brian's employment journey with you. Thank you again, Brian, for joining us. Hello. Hey, how are you, Tiffany? Doing very good. Happy Friday. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's so great to see you. I, I've only been your Facebook friend, so it's really great to get to chat with you this way. And um, I, let's just start from the beginning. So let's talk about your disability. Um, you have a spinal cord injury. Can you kind of tell us how that happened and when it happened? Sure. Um, I am a C3, C4 incomplete. Okay. And uh, it happened, uh, March will be 10 years. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah. I, I was hurt at work. Oh, you were. And okay. kind of a, a shortened version of the story. I was uh, holding some building material in front of me on a cart, oh. and the cart shifted, and uh, the weight, the material um, made me fall back. My knees buckled. I fell back and hit the cart behind me oh and snapped, snapped my neck forward. So my, I actually didn't break my neck. They call it a dislocation. Okay. So the C3 actually popped over C4. Oh, weird. Yes, wow. no, no, no bones broke. No bones broke, but obviously your spinal cord was injured. Was it bruised or torn? It, it, it was pinched. It was pinched. Oh, man. All right. Well, that, that's a crazy injury story. I'm sorry it happened, but we yeah. all have our crazy injury stories, don't we? Um, right. so, so how old were you when you were injured? 33. You were 33. Okay. So you were in the midst of like full-time career stuff going on. And so that must have been, for, I always say any age is difficult. That must have been a particularly, I mean, so when you were injured, what was going on? You were working full time, and you were probably married and stuff, and, and as well, and all that. Or were you? Yep, um, married and have two kids. Okay. So um, wow. Were, so, you, sorry. Continue. They were uh, seven and four when I got hurt. Oh, they were. Wow. So now they're teenagers. Yeah, huh? Oh yeah. So okay. So I'm just curious. So when you were injured and you went to rehab and you had all these, you know, thoughts in your mind about life and were, what was your um, mindset regarding working again and how you were going to even get back to work what were you thinking with you know with your level of injury especially yeah i wasn't really sure if i was going to be able to yeah because you know i got home and got into that the grieving and the double the depression and all yeah. that and yeah. um just couldn't really figure out what i what i could do yeah um, it's it crazy how how long were you in in, in inpatient rehab for uh three months three months and shepherd shepherd great facility yeah. Yeah. cool and then you went home and so yeah so how long did it take for you once you were home to start working again oh i started probably Mm, a little over five years ago wow. just trying to, trying to figure out what I could do I was going right. online and yeah. some of the you know the the job posting pages just trying to see what was out there yeah um, it was before I got hurt I was the jobs I had I was all I was doing things with my hands yeah you're a physical guy but, yeah now I'm not being able to use you know, anything from the shoulders down, it was, uh, it was pretty difficult. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the jobs I saw was like data entry and right. that kind of thing. And I was like, that is not me. <laughs> I can't imagine. Yeah. Going from having to do physical, which you probably love to do. And then suddenly you have no choice, but to use your mind and stuff. Did you have a college degree or did you have to go do some vocational, um, schooling? I've, uh, I have a master's degree. Oh, that's good. So you were ready to go. What was your bachelor's degree in? Uh, music education. Cool. So weird. So you had that degree. You're working in physical labor. So then you're looking at some basic office jobs. What did you end up deciding to do? Uh, I ended up going through uh, 
vocational rehabilitation. Okay, good, smart. Yeah, so at the, uh, the, our chapter of the United Spinal, yep. um, which is South Carolina Spinal Cord Injury Association. Yep. The, the, the executive director at the time really encouraged me to, to pursue going through voc rehab. Yeah, they do so much for people. They can basically help you figure out a new career for yourself. Mm -hmm. So what did they do for you in, in terms of just job hunting and figuring out something that you really like to do? Well, it, it kind of worked out where right after I started working with my uh, VR counselor, mm -hmm. um, my best friend was in a, a job networking group okay. that with different professions and they, they get together, I guess, once a week and meet. Um, but he he had known a guy in that networking group okay and uh started talking to him about me and and uh oh then this guy uh owns a uh fence manufacturing company oh, so chain link wow. fence cool. fencing and uh just happened to meet with him and um he wasn't sure what I could do. Right. And Broke Rehab actually came in to the the warehouse and the, the plant and walked through it and talked with him and said, This is what we can do for Brian to cool. to make things work. And uh and luckily his his name's Charlie. Luckily awesome. he uh he gave me a shot. Wow, this is really cool. I'm so glad you didn't end up in some boring like cubicle because you're still like like in the environment that you used to do before your injury, which I kind of like carrying that. Yeah, and I did that for um, a couple years, and okay. then uh, the uh, I I was uh, voted onto the the um, the board of directors for our um, association. Yeah, and. Uh, Cool. In that time, the the executive director left. She moved out of state. Oh. So the the woman that was the outreach coordinator moved into the executive director position, mm -hmm. which opened up her spot, and I applied for it. Ooh. And I've been there for two and a half years. Oh, wow. So you're working for the United Spinal Association right now? Yes. Well, I'm oh. working for the... Uh, South Carolina Spinal Cord Injury Association. So we're, yeah, we're we're a chapter of the United Spinal, yeah. but we're we're kind of unique that we have um, paid staff. That is amazing. I love that they have that. That's great. I've done. I've talked to some people at your organization before in the past. That's so cool that you work there. Wow. So, okay. So that's amazing. So it kind of just ended up on your lap. That's how so many jobs happen. Isn't that weird? So yeah. cool. Yep. So now you kind of told us what went into getting the job. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do on a daily basis in your position? Sure. Well, I, I'm responsible for uh, coordinating our uh, peer support programs. Okay. We have eight or seven, what we call Breeze peer support groups around the state that meet once a month. Cool. And I work with the the leaders, um, making sure they've got the resources they need and okay. help them with topics and that type of thing. Um, mm -hmm. I also uh, oversee our um, our uh, volunteer program, so people that want to volunteer for the association. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, also our it's called our peer visitor program. Okay. That's uh, which is kind of developing into more of a peer mentor program now. Cool. But the peer visitor program is we if uh, we had someone contact the association that that was either in the hospital um, or newly injured. Yeah. We would pair them up with a, a peer visitor and they would go meet with them and just just um, talk with them, try to encourage them, just say, hey, there's there's life after after your injury and uh, just, just be a support there. That's awesome. 
Wow. So, so you can do all of this, of course, right on your computer from home, huh? Or do you go into an office? I have an office. You have an office? Yep. Nice. Yep. I go to every day. So it's wow. great. Okay. I'm impressed. So, okay. So you must get a ride to work, right? Cause, or can you, you don't drive, right? No, no. Fortunately, I have uh, 24 seven nursing. Oh, you do? Good. Because yeah, I'm, I'm workers' comp. <sighs> That's good to hear. That's really yeah, good to hear. Yeah, I'm yeah. Very, very fortunate. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you get hurt on the job, I guess, huh? Jesus. Yeah. God. Yeah. Wow. So it's been 10 years, and is that kind of going to cover your whole life then is for, for um, your caregivers? Yep, that's lifetime. That's awesome. Well, at least you don't have to worry about that. I mean, that's a huge, that's a huge thing. So, mm. so they drive you to work in the morning. Oh my God. So is it a full-time position? Uh, it's, it's a full-time position, but I'm, I'm doing it in 25 hours a week. Okay. That's awesome. I love it. That's a great gig. What, so I am. Um, so when you decided to work at that position, what kind of reasonable accommodations did you need at your job and how do they help you perform your position? Well, I book, I, when I worked with book rehab, they, yeah. we kind of took my, the setup that I figured out to use at home. Yeah. Uh, you know, with my iPad and my mouse stick and all that, and we, we mimicked it to my, my office. Nice. So I've got an adjustable height desk that I can, adjust to what yep. the height need um and uh you know they they built me a uh this cool laptop easel that that tilts my laptop up Ooh, yeah at an angle so i can lay my ipad on the keyboard part cool. and still see the screen um, but i use my ipad as a mouse pad keyboard there's a there's an app called remote mouse oh cool that I use and and I use my fancy schmancy mouse stick to to operate it. Nice, that's yep. really cool. How nice! So you can do all that, and then so you don't need any. Once you get set up in front of your computer, I imagine you're totally independent. Yep, that's awesome. So okay, so did you personally request these accommodations? I mean, OVR helped you, or when you got your job, did they ask your your boss, or did you go ahead and ask for all the accommodations? Um, they said, what do you need? They did, huh? That's, yeah. that's kind of what you want to happen, right? That's the yeah. ideal situation. What, um, what advice do you have on, you know, requesting these accommodations? Um, let's say if maybe you don't have an employer that's already asking you what you need. Uh, just, just to be open and honest with them yeah. and just say um, that, you know, you really enjoy what you're doing. Mm -hmm. but if we could it would help if i if we could do this it would make it easier I mean, just just be willing to talk with the employer and and yep. hopefully your employer is willing to to help out and make adjustments so you're successful oh well, they have to be too it's the law right what oh right right <laughs> yeah yeah it is the law but it's hard i think a lot of people get nervous approaching their employer and you know people do get nervous but it sounds mm -hmm. but you just got to be confident right and just do it yeah that you've got to advocate for yourself yeah yeah it's not easy really but do. It's no so true. it's not yeah okay so i have another question here what um do you like most about your job that you have right now and being employed oh uh, what do i love most about my job yeah um I love uh, being able to uh, point people to resources that that they can use. Um, find, finding resources that they they need and point them in the right direction, uh, and connecting people. I love getting getting peers connected with each other, and just that whole support system is so huge. Yeah, especially in our community. You know, we've, we've got all the online stuff, but it's so good. Get, yeah, but when you get person to person, it it makes it that much better. And and can you answer a little bit more about why you just like being employed? Uh, I like being productive and 
um, just the fact that I'm contributing to something that's bigger than myself. Yeah. It feels good too, probably just to leave the house and do something, right? Oh yeah. And the, the income doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> yeah. That's the nice part too, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. I have just a couple more questions for you. We're done. So you kind of already yeah. answered this, but why do you think being em employed with a disability is important other than, you know, just the income? Um, well, when you're, you're out there and people are seeing you mm -hmm. being in society, being a, an active, productive member of society that, um, they, people at the time try to figure out how I do what I do. Yeah. And, uh, but just, just, just showing people that just because you have a disability yep. doesn't mean you can't can't uh um what's the word i'm looking for but uh be productive you can't be yeah or be productive yeah contribute yeah and i feel the same way i think it's great and it's great to be visible and that's cool that you do leave your house and you go mm. out every day i mean pretty cool i don't know many people with um with your level of injury working as much as you are that's awesome so, um, okay, I have one more question for you. Um, right. what, what advice would you give to people with disabilities who are interested in working? Uh, you're going to have some hiccups and some, uh, some not so good moments, but to try not to get discourage yep. um, to persevere um, but uh, just talk talk to people get to yeah. get to know people and yep. a lot of it is who you know so true and uh, I mean just just kind of like what happened to me mm -hmm. you know, best friend knew somebody and and next thing I know, I've got a job. So right, and just like let people know you're looking for a job too. Just put it yeah. out there, right? Yep. That's awesome. Well, that's some really good advice. Thank you, Brian, for sharing your employment okay. journey with us. Uh, I know your story is going to help a lot of people out there with their future employment journey themselves. So thank you again for sharing, and I hope that you continue to love your job. Oh, I do. I do. Thanks. All right. Well, thanks again. Have a great weekend. Okay. You too. All right. See